Buffalo Harbour Cruises.com. And I got a little wave, nice one. We have the green light and we're a go. A whole lot to myself. All right, I've been given the all clear to get out of here. Thanks very much. Yeah, I enjoyed that, that was cool. Oh, it's some nice boats in here. Kind of wander uh, into, onto Grand Island. I tell you what, it's gonna be a long, it's gonna be a long ride back home. All right, back out on the water for another glorious day. It's been a few days since I last been out. Uh, I decided to spend the weekend at home. So I've been doing some home renovations, finally got the uh, new fence done and the yard worked out. So I had to stay off the water this weekend and it was over 30 degrees, so I missed out. But anyway, uh, yesterday I tried coming out and it was windy as hell. We had like five foot waves here and I couldn't get out. So uh, today the winds were a bit lighter, but still a little choppy. Uh, so the plan is today, I'm gonna drive, I'm gonna ride down to Buffalo and then I'll have a little tour of Buffalo again. And then I'll make my way over to the Grand Island and ride all the way around Grand Island and uh, check out some of the spots over there and show you around. So anyway, uh, Buffalo is just down there. It's uh, 14 kilometers to Buffalo. So what I'll do, I'll see you when I get down there. Uh, by the way, 14 kilometers, about eight and a half miles. So uh, let's get cracking on and I'll speak to you when we get down there. Getting to Buffalo, about 14 kilometers. It's like 30 seconds in YouTube time. Oh, some nice waves. Here we are, this is Buffalo, uh, back in the United States of America. If you recall from my previous video, uh, there's a lighthouse, uh, we went down the Buffalo River, which is there where the warship is, we went all the way down there, and we made our way up from all the way down there, I think it's Pinehurst, all, all the way along the, uh, the coastline. Well, today, I'm gonna be heading uh, down the Niagara River on the US side. So, uh, the Sal Park is here, we're gonna aim for that very, very shortly, and make our way underneath the Peace Bridge on the US side, as close to land as we can, and uh, make our way down to uh, Grand Island. Got approval to come into the United States by using the Rome app. If you've never used the Rome app and you are a boat or a personal watercraft operator, you'll want to get it. It's an easy, easy tool for you to come over to the United States uh, frequently if you're Canadian. All right, so what you, all you have to do, uh, actually, uh, I ain't going to tell you what to do right now. I'm going to put a link right here because I made a video about five or six weeks ago. You can just quickly watch that. I broke it up into little chapters so you can see exactly, uh, skip to the bit you want to watch and it'll tell you how to uh, use the app. It's really, really cool. So anyway, that is our plan for today gonna head all the way down there and all the way around Grand Island past a couple of those small little islands I think one's called Strawberry and Prison Island and uh, make our way up to the far end uh, go past Navy Island which is Canadian then all the way back up so anyway we're here in Buffalo my name is Nigel the channel is Nigel's Cheap Vlogs and today uh, I am the Lake Erie vlogger Right, I just pulled up the chart on my map so I can see where I'm going to be going. Um, so yeah, basically we're going to make our way all the way along here and uh, see what we can see and what adventures we can get up to today. Wow, that doesn't sound good. <laughs> Ooh, second time's a charm. All right, the building in front of me is called the Pump Out Facility. I guess it's something to do with the sewage works and the water treatment. And behind it is uh, Erie Basin Marina. So we'll just quickly go up to this a little bit. Sorry, geese. Some of the geese can't fly right now, depending on the age they are. So they just spend a lot of time just bobbing around. Um, oh, there's a little gosling there. 
can go. They're at a certain age, they can't fly. So this is a marina. Nice little properties here as well. Oh, this is nice, eh? If you got the money, you can afford a place down here. I like this. A very uh, old looking structure, very 1960s concrete block. Reminds me of old style uh, UK stuff, but it just built a lot of stuff with concrete back in the 60s. And I grew up with it in the 70s, of course. I wasn't around in the 60s, that's just putting me too old. But there's a city, uh, a very, uh, that building right there reminds me of the Liver building in Liverpool. Every time I see it, I just think of Liverpool. So anyway, we got this is the uh, marina right here. I'm gonna get out of their way because there's a few boats coming. Some nice big boats in there. But some beautiful property here. Can someone tell me what that's for? It looks like it's not used anymore. I don't know if big boats came in here at some point and uh, uh, anchored up along here and that was used as a lookout or to put signs up there. Uh, looks like it used to probably hold a sign or maybe flags. Uh, but yeah, Houston, does anyone know what this particular structure is? Someone let me know in the comments below, that'd be really cool. Tell you what, it's really cool to see beyond this side of the water after spending so many times on the Canadian side and look back over at Canada. It's, 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 it's just different, it really is. And I have to say, the, wa the water and the weather is much warmer than what, when it, what it was when I came last time. I believe it was only like 18 degrees, but the, sea the water temperature was only like 45, 50 degrees Fahrenheit. Well, the water temperature now is up to 17, maybe plus. So uh, much more bearable, especially when you get that spray. If I don't see a sign that says do not go, I'm gonna go basically. So I've never been here. I don't see any boats down here, but I do see channel markers. So I presume I can go down here. This stretch of water here, and Buffalo is the uh, Black Rock Canal. So I'm on the Black Rock Canal system. I do see boats here, which is a good sign, so I'm good to come down here. So uh, let's carry on. This is the uh, waterworks, I believe. Oh, my alarm's gone off, it must be in shallow water. Turn that off. Uh, da -da -da -da. Yep, that's the waterworks, we see that. So that will be connected to the intake, which is that copper rooftop, just way over there, which we'll see very, very shortly. I guess it's all connected. So that's the water intake, that copper roof over there, which brings in all the water, all the drinking water supply for Buffalo. And I guess it gets uh, pumped into there and gets treated and then dispensed out. I could be wrong. I'm just using logic here. So anyway, let's carry on down uh, Black Rock Canal. Now I do like that look. The, even, even though it's been modernized, that is an old style factory look. Uh, the great chimney and all that. I do love that look. Reminds me of industrial north, northern England, very much so, when I see things like that. Makes me think of home. But without the grim skies. Miss Buffalo 2, the ship is called. So we've got a few... Uh, People having a day cruise out here. It's kind of cool. BuffaloHarborCruises.com. I got a little wave, nice one. Nice little ride. I like that. I just noticed that I'm riding along. I don't know how shallow it is here. I'm trying to get a bit closer. Oh, there's a lot. So the canal flows into the river there. You can see all these little holes? So the overflow goes into the Niagara River, but look how fast that is flowing. And I gotta try and get back on that later. So uh, <laughs> the ride back is gonna be fun. It really is. I gotta make sure I got enough gas. So anyway, uh, it's kind of, uh, Somewhere like this, and you, what's that? The city of Buffalo, Massachusetts Avenue Pumping Station, 1958. Yeah, it looks very 50s, doesn't it? Late 50s. A lot of graffiti all along the side, along with uh, normal signs that are being painted. It's like, come along here and uh, make your own artwork and put it on a wall by the looks of it. Looks like some of this stuff has been here for a long time. 2001, 
2007, 2002. Henley Champs. Whoever Henley is, Canadian National Champs. Nardin Senior 4. Yeah, basically just show up and make, make your own sign by the looks of it. Okay. <laughs> I do have a problem with some of the pronunciations of the words here. Uh, Buffalo and uh, upstate New York is very much uh, indigenous. Um, a lot of names derive from uh, native Indians uh, and, pe and people like, uh, well, I won't say people like that. I mean, yes, of course, the French and the British came over and so on, but it was all native land before. So a lot of the native names are still here and I can't pronounce them. Skajakwada. Skajakwada. Skaj. Skajakwada. 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 I don't know. You see what I mean by the, uh, like, all this handwritten posters uh, on the walls? Hey, my Buffalo followers can give me a bit more information on that. That'd be really, really cool. All right, we're coming up to this bridge. This is the Bascule Bridge. Um, spans 149 feet with an elevation of uh, 17 feet. And as you can tell, it's operated as a, a ferry street lift bridge. So when a boat comes, it will lift up in that kind of in motion. But yeah, I love a good old bridge like this. This is really cool. Uh, 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 vessel's gonna anchor, no anchor around here. There's so much on offer here compared with Fort Erie. I mean, Fort Erie's a small town, mind you. Only 30,000 people in Fort Erie. You got 100,000 plus here in Buffalo. How oh, cool is that? Very picturesque. Strange name for a place. It looks like it should be a drug house. Mentholatum. Mentholatum. Menthol Sounds like a street drug. Come and get your mentholatum from here. Party hard. Oh, just to add, I mean, that is the mainland. And this piece of land here in the water, which is on the other side of that, is the Niagara River. This is Unity Island. And there's like a sewage treatment plant right there. I don't know what's at the end. Maybe it's part of a just normal green area. But it looks like this is going to bend around and eventually just push me back out into the Niagara River. Uh, but yeah, Unity Island. And as we make our way up the river, uh, Grand Island, which is what we're going to be going around, is the third largest island in New York State. It looks like I'm getting down towards the end of the canal. It looks like I can't get out because there is a lock system here. So it looks like I'm going to have to make my way all the way back and then fly down the Niagara River. But let's have a quick look up here anyway. This is a really cool old swing bridge. Uh, looks like, I'm guessing it's still in use because there's a nice dock area over here. So uh, that's neat. Oh, it, is this part of the railway system? Is this? I thought that was further down. I don't think it is. I mean, it's just a road. I'll soon find out to go underneath it. If it has any railway tracks on it. There's cars coming over it. Oh, there is rail. Oh, this is the... Okay, this must be the railway bridge then. Is this what I'm thinking of? I have to look at my map. Give me a second. Yeah, I didn't realise I'd come down this far. So that is the railway bridge, which connects the uh, United States with Canada. Uh, built in 1873. Uh, I did a little video on it on the Canadian side quite a long time ago. And this bit is the bit that still rotates. So it's still an active uh, rotating railway bridge. Uh, apparently the, the bridge hold passes about 15 trains per day. All right, the sign says recreational lockages. So you, I, I think I can use that. I might call the number and find out. Um, but it's on the hour, so it's coming up to one o'clock. Maybe I'll get lucky. I'll get to go uh, use a lock system here in Buffalo. That'll be a bonus. I'll make a quick phone call. Oh my God, how cool is that? All right, I just called the number, which is on there. I spoke to the uh, harbour master here and there's no charge. I can actually use it in a personal water craft. I'm the only vessel here, so he's going to operate it for me at one o'clock and I'll be going down. So uh, what a bonus. I get to ride uh, the lock system here on the Buffalo River, on the uh, Buffalo Canal, Black Rock Canal. This is a uh, awesome uh, bonus. Shame I'm the only person here. <laughs> wow. Uh, this is an experience. Never done this on my own before. The gates are just opening up for me the lock gates. I just gotta wait for the light to change to green and I can proceed. 
we have the green light and we're a go. This is so cool. A whole lot to myself. And you don't have to pay for it. That's even better. I got money with me just in case. That must be the guy up there, so he has to say. Currently at 36 feet of water. Oh, it's dropping quick. It's starting to drop. So, uh, this is cool. I'm just gonna float in the lock on my own. Oh, yeah, it's dropping pretty rapid here. The water level going down. It's dropped quite significantly now. It's 6 feet. I just got a couple good afternoons that are ordered. I don't know how low it goes, that's quite honest. No idea. This was an unexpected little trick, this one. Alright, there we have it, the door's opening up. It looks like I've dropped about 8 feet compared with my GPS. Looking at the wall, it's probably about right, eight feet. I don't watch all the debris out there. Get fish. Thanks very much. Yeah, I enjoyed that, that was cool. There you have it, back out on the Niagara River. That was awesome. front of me is uh, what they call Strawberry Island. I'm not sure why they call it Strawberry Island. Maybe it's because it may be shaped like one, but it, it doesn't look like it's shaped like a strawberry. Uh, maybe it used to grow strawberries, but hey, it's named Strawberry Island. A little island here called Pirate Island, uh, just where you get to Grand Island. And to my right is the um, Niagara Mohawk Power Corporation. Uh, must be a big power station. What a great day out. Look at this old uh, rustic crane, whatever it's meant to be. And uh, shoot to transport stuff off the boats, I guess. Lift them up back in the day. You're going to have some money to uh, ride around in one of them. Really, really nice. Oh, I love how it goes down there to all those homes down there. That's really nice. So that's it. Behind me is Grand Island. It's an, it's an island town in Erie County of New York of approximately 22,000 residents that live on the island. Uh, it's the largest island on the Niagara River and it's the third largest island in New York State. Uh, Interstate 190 uh, crosses over onto the island and back out on the other side and we're going to go underneath uh, two of the bridges very, very shortly. Um, this is the South Grand, I believe, South Grand Island Bridge we're pretty close to. And as we go around the island, we'll end up on the north, underneath the uh, North Grand Island Bridge. As I said, uh, Interstate 190 goes right over. Uh, there's no bridge which connects this island with mainland Canada or anything to do with Canada. So uh, this is all America over here. This is all United States of America. Grand Island Bridge, uh, which takes you from Conawanda uh, into onto Grand Island. All right, 
eye. Something just caught my eye. It's a sea do. Check this out. Look at that wake. Sea do wake hoisted up there. That's the lifestyle. What a lifestyle to have if you had money. Oh, can you dream of money? All right. Onwards we keep going. Nice hotel on the waterfront. That's a Radisson. A Radisson Hotel, I believe. Lovely views. There's marinas everywhere. It's like the Florida of the North, this island. It really is. It's like Miami of the North. Nice there, doesn't it? Look at that. Uh, Navy Island, Canadian. And we're at the very top end now of Grand Island. So I'm going to stop here, have a little bite to eat, change my batteries, and then make our way back. I have a feeling though the lake could be a little rough coming back because it was really windy over there last little bit, but here's a little sheltered. So we'll see how it goes. I guess I can shut the engine off for a few minutes here, and that should be good for 10 minutes while I float around. Definitely windy going back. Wow. Just quickly show you. So on the uh, on the west side of Grand Island, there isn't really much to see. The houses aren't as predominantly seen, like grouped together like you would see on the other side. And what houses I have seen, apart from that big thing over there, just like ordinary homes, really. So uh, yeah, I, I'm presuming the posh side is definitely the east side, and the west side is just your normal style home. Uh, and not much to see on this side. It's very green, uh, less docks. Uh, the other side has a lot of docks. I've hardly seen anything on this side. Now, I've never seen anything this big come up the river before. And it's just caught my eye. It looks like a big barge coming up uh, with a tug behind it pushing it up. See, I've never seen anything that big on the river here. I'm never around when it comes through. So uh, I learn something new every day. So big things can come on the river.
it's quite choppy on Lake Erie, so I'm going to stay pretty close to shore the best I can. Uh, see how far I get. If it gets really bad, I'm going to turn around. That was insane. <laughs> I don't think I'll be doing that again in a hurry. All right, now get this boat out, this sea do out, and uh, relax. Uh, quite a good ride that, 60 miles uh, up the river, around Grand Island, through Buffalo and back. So it's about 80 to 100 kilometers, 50 to 60 miles. I'll work it out properly when I get home. So, anyway, back on dry land. Hope you enjoyed the video. And uh, anyway, until the next adventure. <laughs> Ooh, God knows when that'll be with the price of gas. So uh, anyway, I'll be back on the water very, very soon, I'm sure of it. So until next time, stay safe. Catch you soon.